Hey you guys, Gameboy3800 here. Once again, back playing some more Forza Horizon 5. Doing some more Hilltop Rally. Last time out, the Dodge Charger showed us how it's done. And it got to the top of the leaderboard, beating the Buick GSX that had a good run staying at the top for quite a few episodes. Today though, we got something different. The Pontiac Firebird will have a go. Now this car starts in like Pretty low SD class, so we have a lot of room for upgrades, I think. Got a 6.6 .6 liter, 400 cubic inch V8. And if we were doing a D class build, this might be the way to go here. It sounds good stock, actually. I love that sound. Putting on off road race tires only puts us into C class, so that's how much room we have to upgrade here, but that does mean, of course. This car doesn't have very much handling or very much power. Yep, so far, not really impressive. Putting on the splitter, splitters reduces PI by so much that I'm going to do it anyways. I could do race brakes. Nah. You know, this Hilltop Rally... Uh, it is so, like, flat. There's some elevation changes, but there's no jumps. Maybe it would be good to go for, like, a street uh, suspension one time if we need to save some points. I'll go stock gearbox. 116? Okay, so we're definitely going to want on the street transmission once we increase power. We're going to go for twin turbos this time around. We haven't had a turbo car go yet, I don't think. That's sounding pretty good there. Can get the revs to go up pretty high as well. I do like the idea of maxing out our force induction though. So let's see if we can max out a supercharger. We can max out a supercharger, and that leaves us more room for upgrades. Very nice. I love the shaker cam. So, 423 horsepower, 522 torque. That sounds pretty good to me. I'm going to experiment, see if we can get, like, better power, uh, like, naturally aspirated, just by maxing out this engine completely. I don't think so, but we could be lightweight. Probably. Look at that. We were 420 torque, 520, or other way around. 420 horsepower, 520 torque. We're only down a little bit from uh, before. And we weigh a bit less. That might be the way to go. I'm going to see how that build does. And then go back and reset the engine tune and just see what happens. We're going to get a little bit more horsepower with our supercharger, but will it be worth that weight? Because if I don't go for cams, what can I do? Oh, man. This is a torque monster if you don't go for cams. Can I go for one cams? I can go for one cams.
Okay. That might be our way to go. That's insane. And look at that. You can drop 5 horsepower and drop 30 pounds with the twin turbos. A little bit less maximum horsepower, I think, at the top of the river range. Twin turbos it is. Yeah, that's the way to go. Less grip overall, but we gain uh, so much torque that I think it'll be stupid if you don't do that. And we have so much torque that that gearbox shouldn't matter too much. A little bit heavier, so slightly heavier uh, sway bars as well. And then, with the aerodynamics, we're already at one lateral G, or 120. We go up to 1.2. Oh, it didn't put in a rally diff. Hmm. No, we did. I could go for that, maybe. Hmm. Stock transmission, that'll be a four speed. And same top speed, even so, yeah. Let's do that. We've turned our 400 cubic inch into our 427. Let's go. No, we turned it into a 440. Nice. How high can this engine rev? Just a tad over 6,000. Okay. Do that just because why not? And now, we go to the top of the mountain. So the Firebird, it's an interesting position. It's got good grip. It's got good torque. Pretty low horsepower, though. If this is anything like the Buick and Charger we had before, having more torque than horsepower does seem to do pretty good. Now, time to beat is a 47.7 with the Dodge Charger. Let's go. 637 torque is pretty good, actually. How does that compare to our torquiest car we've had so far, the Buick GSX? <laughs> Look how much torque you can get in B-Class. That's stupid. Uh, yep, not too far down on the Buick. It's got a similar, like, uh, power-to-torque ratio. And it was 200 pounds less. If we can get into the 47s with this car and beat the Dodge Charger, we will be in a good standing. Let's go. I do like this front splitter too. I don't know why it has like the same lines and looks so good on this car. I don't know why other cars don't get a special splitter like that. Maybe that's not a special splitter. Maybe that's like a real life uh, performance package option. I don't know. I don't know that aids a Camaro or Pontiac at all. We have a good run up the hill. I like this car's longer gear ratios, actually. Especially if our turbos can stay spooled up.
we have great turning. Will we be able to maintain that speed, though? We are destroyed. We are there, Drox, so future laps will have a better run. A good run up the hill, look at that. Admittedly, the Charger had a pretty poor run up the hill on its final run. So how will we do overall? Charger slides out. We are very planted in this car. No braking at all. Nice. And the Charger did run very wide up here. Maybe it had a good run, I don't know. I do not think I need to break there. I can just stay full power through that. I do like the way this car handles it. In a racing situation, I would probably choose this car over the Charger. But I don't know. The Charger, that final leg there is so fast. And I have a poor run there from me. Got yeah, the Charger is right there. Nice. That's not what I wanted at all. I think the Chargers got it this time around. The Pontiac, pretty balanced, but I just can't seem to make it up where it really counts. And where does that really count? In the big end towards the line. We can match the Chargers cornering speed here. Might even surpass it. But once we get onto the higher end straights, it does run away. So good job, Charger. Got a well-deserved win last time around. And the Trans Jam, it put up a good fight. 48.2, that's the same time as the likes of the Chevelle, right? So, not bad. That's going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed Pontiac having a go, and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Game Boy. I'll see you all in the future. And let's not forget, this car starts in D-Class. I think this could be a good D-Class car if you race it already. I'll see you all in the future. Goodbye, everybody.